This game worth playing now? You know, it's better. Um, I can't say that it's 100% worth playing now. Uh, but they definitely did change enough. To where, like, I would give it a second chance. Um, I did have a lot of latency issues when the season first started. And every once in a while, I'll still have them. But uh, overall, it's, it's not too bad. I might do another couple durials today. We'll see. They that's probably the best thing that they did with this um with this season though, and is they made the game more co-op friendly. So like if you have friends and such that you want to play with, um it's definitely beneficial to play with friends and, and play with others, which is awesome. I really, really like that a lot. So basically how that works is when you're farming for bosses you have to go and do different events. So, um, like, you go over here and do these green areas. These are the, the new blood moon or whatever they're called areas. And you get certain things that allow you to, um, to do certain bosses. So you end up getting these materials right here. Uh, so you have the, the hand, the head, and the, and the femur. Those three plus a malignant heart allows you to summon Varshan, which is a level 75, very challenging version of Varshan. Um, five of these, Living Steel, allows you to summon a Grigori. Uh, I think it's nine. Yeah, nine of these allows you to do the um, Ice Beast. And then, uh, what is it? Nine of these allows you to do the end boss of this particular uh, season, which I don't want to spoil it for you in case you want to play. And then when you do those, when you do the uh, Varshan, which is this one, and then when you do Grigori, you'll get these two things. And when you get two of these and two of these, you can summon a Durial. Uh, so you actually have to go and, like, do these, then go and do this. And these are just bonus bosses that you can go and, and fight if you want to. And the thing is, they all drop specific uniques now. So they have... You can like target farm. So every, almost every time, I'm not going to say 100%, but it's like 75% of the time, they drop a unique. And then Durial is level 100, and every time you kill Durial, you guaranteed to get a 925 item. Everything that Durial drops is 925, which is the highest eye level that you can get. And he also drops like the really, really ultra rare things. He has a chance to drop all of the ultra rares. A higher chance. It's not a, an amazing chance, but it's a higher chance. I, I think that it's it's definitely better than it was. So there, there is target farming. Um, the level 1 to 50 range is eh. It's kind of um, the same as it was. If you're doing the leveling while playing the story, it's good. Um, if you're trying to level 1 to 50 just outside of the story it's just kind of boring and tedious uh, I, I don't find it fun at all uh, most of the classes don't really open up and and become fun until around the 60 to 70 range when you can start getting some of the sacred and then ancestral gear that allows you to really make those builds and then getting into the paragon glyphs um, that's what really opens up the game and so it's fun again from like 60 to about 80 and then from 80 to 100, it becomes tedious again because you're just trying to grind out levels to get to the 100 so that then you can go and do all these farms. You can farm stuff, you know, 75 to 80. You could start farming, like, all of the all of these things and get a ton of them so that when you're 100 or even before 100, like, if you, if you have a really strong build, you can go and fight Durial before 100 and you can probably win. But um, you could basically build up a bunch of Durial fights and then go in and do it which is awesome. So then I can save up a bunch of these, right? And then when my friends get on, they're also saving theirs. So we could play at different times during the week, let's say, uh, which is what some of my friends did last night. We all played throughout the week. We all got a lot of the um, materials to go and farm some of these bosses. 
And then we all got together last night, four of us, and we used all of our materials and everybody benefited from everybody's materials. So it worked out really well. We ended up getting a lot of uh, gear that way. Uh, I do like, you know, the, the filters that you have down here, very easy to, to deal with those, uh, which is really nice. You can type in, you know, direct things down here and well, you can't see it because it's behind my head, but you can type in, you know, something that you're looking for, like disobedience, for example, I don't even know if I have one. I do have a disobedience, boom. Uh, so that's a disobedience right there. Um, so you could type in, you know, something down here and search directly for what you want. It tells you what tab it's in, etc. That's all nice. The gym system is way better. Um, you don't have to worry about gems at all anymore. You actually have materials. I don't even know if they show. I'm assuming they show in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, they show right down here. So you have all these different materials for the gems, and you can just craft them. Um, so I can just go to a jeweler and, boom, craft up some gems. I don't have to worry about having them loaded up in my inventory. Also a very, very good thing. Um, pretty much everything, you know, is, is, is streamlined more so than it was before. Uh, the vampire powers are very, very strong. I love them. Um, I don't like the leveling process of them necessarily, but it's not too bad once you level them up. The problem with it is if you make a second character, you have to level them all up again. I think what they should do is either allow you to level them up once, make it maybe cost more to level them so that if you make multiple characters, you only have to do it once, or maybe once you've leveled up, like I've leveled up five of mine, it would be nice if you just keep this blood down here and it transfers over to another character, and then I could spend all of that um, on a different character and level up their uh, vampire abilities. That would be something else that would be really nice. I don't think you can do that. I haven't made a, a second character yet this season, but I don't, I'm pretty sure that these go away. So I could just sit here and spin these, you know, on, on this character for whatever reason. It doesn't matter at this point because I've, I've got the five that I want fully leveled. So it's kind of pointless at, at this point to, to have any more of it. But it would be really nice to be able to take that over to another character like you can with all of your other materials. So I can come down here, you know, and all of my, well, these aren't materials. All of these materials will transfer over to a second character. And I can use those to immediately, you know, help build that second character up a little bit faster, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's my that's my spiel for my uh, my final thoughts on season two.